What's up, YouTube? This is Too Raw for TV. So, it was nearly a month ago now that actor Jonathan Majors was arrested in New York City and accused of uh, domestic violence against a woman that has been purported to be his girlfriend. Uh, now, immediately after this event uh, was reported, alleged event, there had been supposedly eyewitnesses, uh, the cab driver, uh, supposedly even the woman herself, came out and said that this the initial reports weren't true. The woman recanted, uh, allegedly saying that these things were not true. Uh, but then a strange thing happened. That was not widely disseminated throughout the media. Uh, it was not pushed. It was not promulgated by the mainstream media in any discernible way. Instead, what you saw was a continuation of the initial allegations. And uh, as a result, his career is taking a hit. I mean, a major, major hit. It reminds me of almost like, like beach erosion. You know, like when a hurricane uh, is... is washing away slowly but surely the foundation of the beach and, and, and of even the homes near the beach. They're taking a slow hit slowly, slowly until as the storm approaches, when I say the storm approaches, I mean the eye, the, the home washes away, washes into the ocean. And that's what's like going on with his career. It's like the initial erosion. And if this thing continues, what was supposed to have been a meteoric rise of a career is going to wash away into the abyss and into oblivion. So we already saw the U.S. Army remove uh, some ads that he appeared in. Then um, this so-called biopic that was going to feature, uh, uh, I almost said O.J. Simpson, that was going to feature Dennis Robin. that's been done away with reportedly. His role as Kane the Conqueror is in jeopardy. And um, his PR team, his public relations team, management team dropped him unamicably. Apparently, the report is that they shut the door on him. Like, closed the door on this nigga. That goes to show you the fakeness of Hollywood. All they see with these actors is especially with a guy like Majors, is someone they think can make them money. But once you fuck up and you become uh, useless to them, you see how the wolves in Hollywood act. Right? Then he was uninvited to the Mets Gala. Unamicably, too. <laughs> you know, disrespectfully. So, <clears throat> these are some of the new results. The new uh, effects. He's been dropped from an, another uh, project, a project that was going to be made by Protagonist Pictures, an ad adaptation of the Walter Mosley film, The Man in My Closet. He's been dropped from a series of ads from the Texas Rangers baseball team, and he's been dropped from an unannounced Otis Redding biopic. Uh, coincidentally, I saw today that Otis Redding's son, Otis Redding III, passed away at the age of 59. Uh, so, you know, it's sad news for the Otis Redding family. But anyway, yeah, his career is taking hit after hit after hit. And the fact that he is so quiet, it's starting to lead me to think of two things. It's starting to make me wonder, and I'm just being honest with you all, it's starting to make me wonder if he is guilty. Because if I was innocent of these allegations, and I'm seeing this damage happening in my career, and I know I didn't do shit, I'll be taking the Michael Irvin route. Michael Irvin has been on this since day one. And you can see what the, the anguish that he's showing and, and his aggressiveness. He knows in his heart that he didn't do anything wrong. Or at least he didn't feel like he did anything wrong. And when you feel like you didn't do anything wrong, you are on the offensive. You're going on the offense. Majors is just... It's like he's, 
I'm, I'm sorry. I'm starting to wonder if he did this shit. Now, I still get that, look, this country is a certain type of way toward people, right? Toward us. And it's fucked up that Sean Penn suffered no career damage back in 1988 when he kidnapped Madonna, tortured her, assaulted her in a, in a vile way, you know what I mean, and nothing happened to his career. Nothing. I don't even know if he got arrested for that. He kidnapped her. Yeah, she was his girlfriend, but he kidnapped her, physically assaulted her, and then assaulted her in an in a, in a intimate way. Nothing happened. Oscar winner. Alec Baldwin blew away a production assistant and sent the director to the hospital with life-threatening gunshot wounds. Nobody gives a fuck. So I, I, I'm, I get the incredulity of the hypocrisy of the situation. But the reality is, that's what the fuck we got to deal with. So at the end of the day, why are you quiet? If I were him, I would go on 60 Minutes. Now, what I'm also suspecting is, he's got back with this woman. So he's in a quandary. He's in a quandary. He wants to protect his image, but at the same time, if he did that, he'd be throwing her under the bus. So that's what I'm suspecting. He's back with her, and he's in a, in a quagmire. Bro, that woman ain't worth your career. If she did this before, she'll do it again. If I were you, it's going to be a hard choice to make, but you got to put your career first. I'm going on 60 Minutes, and I'm professing my innocence. If I got to shed a tear to show my humanity, because they're trying to pro they're trying to project you, and 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 sh and uh, promote you, and to frame you as this big bully, this big thug, uh, who who, you know, has been ousted one again once again. They destroyed Isaiah Washington's career off of an alleged slur that he made. They destroyed his career. While Mel Gibson, while I enjoy him as an actor, isn't he the same guy that, that wished that uh, a female that he uh, knew would get destroyed by a pack of N-words? Like we, were, like we were wolves? Remember that? But we still go and watch Mel Gibson movies. Freedom! Uh, oh God, Mel Gibson's such a great actor. The way he yelled freedom at the end of Braveheart. Niggers! <laughs> Pack of Yeah, anyway, I'm not trying to be a little bit humorous, but man, this dude got to speak out, man. It don't make no sense at this point, man. But tell me what you guys think, man.